Tonight, the beauties and the geeks take to the stage. Take it off! In a geeky beauty pageant. For coming first and second, you guys will be rewarded with a makeover! But which two will be transformed from geek to chic? And romance blossoms. Have you ever thought about kissing me before? But will Dane have the courage to seal it with a kiss? Why don't you come and kiss me? Oh, God. Wait, what? Look, I found a piece. But where does it go? Jason and I were just sitting in the geek room doing a puzzle today when Cody and Dane burst in. Hey, boys. Yeah, Hello. On. So, Rich, you're getting a little bit of kissing practice. Maybe we could get a little bit of kissing advice. Rich is the kiss master, basically because he's the only geek in the mansion actually kissing a beauty. How many times have you kissed? Tell us. Kiss master. <laughs> I don't know, like five. Oh, five. wow, look at that, wow. Come on, you're beating me by five, Rich. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much saliva should you use? Your hand is Greta, show us. Huh? Hello, I am Greta. Where's the tongue, Rich? Where's the tongue, Rich? Where's the oh, tongue? There it is. Stick it out, Rich. No, we can't see the tongue. We can't see the tongue, Rich. Oh, we can the never tongue. see the tongue. Now we got some advice. Yeah, we got some advice. <laughs> Finally. Finally. The geeks know nothing about kissing. And before getting into the mansion, I don't think Rich did either. Why did you guys go to Rich for advice? Because he's the master. He's the, of the, he's the one that's the geek that's been kissing the most. But maybe we should ask you, should. how do you... How do you do kissing? How much tongue should you use if the girl likes to tongue kiss? Boys, Dr Kim's going to teach you how it's done. You don't want to be an octopus and eat her face, and then you know if she goes like this after, it's too much tongue. OK. <laughs> what happens if I go after? Then you should find a new girl to smooch. OK. Dr Kim's tips for kissing. Firstly, not too much tongue. So no tonsil hockey, as they say. Secondly, not too much slobber. OK. <laughs> and thirdly, make sure the girl wants to kiss you. Do you guys have any more questions? I think we have enough to, to think about right now. Yeah, there's so much left to ponder. We all head downstairs to find out what our challenge is going to be this week. Hello, beauties and geeks. Hi, Benny. Well, we're down to just six couples. Congratulations on getting this far in the competition. Thank you. This week's challenge sees you both in the limelight in a joint Beauty and the Geek beauty pageant. Oh. <laughs> I don't know much about beauty, but I know in all the beauty pageants, they want world peace. World peace. World peace. World peace. Beauties, you know how to work the catwalk. In fact, you own the catwalk. <laughs> But it won't be you strutting your stuff down the runway. <laughs> it's going to be your geek stepping out in nothing but budgie smugglers. Oh, oh, no. oh no, I don't want to do this. Beauties, don't think you're getting off that easily. Uh, yes. Because round two sees you taking centre stage to give your opinion on a range of topical issues. <laughs> I'm really, really nervous. I know absolutely nothing about current affairs or politics. All I really think about is shoes, heels and shoes. <laughs> the third and final round is a couple's talent quest. This is every team's chance to impress the crowd with a dazzling double act. <laughs> the outcome of this challenge is going to really shake things up in the mansion. Uh-oh. <laughs> there won't be one immunity up for grabs. There'll be two. The two couples with the highest scores will be safe from elimination and sail through to next week. You need to bring out all the stops in this challenge, guys. Uh -huh. This was going to be an interesting one because Millie can talk really well, but I wasn't sure about the whole topical issues thing. The way Bernie made it sound, you're going to basically be talking about current issues and events. Oh, my God. So you're going to be thrown, like, a current topic. Yeah. And you're going to have to talk about it. 
Oh no, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> so if I tell you to explain why the global financial crisis occurred, what would you say? I'd say something like the politics are spending too much money on something to do with the greenhouse gases. Oh no, the charcoal something or other. The fossil, the burning of the fuels. And people are spending too much money maybe on clothes and shopping. Okay, um... Smash that. Yes. So we have to do a talent day. Yep. I'm really nervous. What about a cool rap or something? Like, I could be Nicki Minaj and, like, you could be, um, I don't know. Okay, no, uh, Slim Shady. I don't really know how to rhyme, so... Just find a word. Like, what... Cat? what are, are we really going to use a cat? What, why would we rap about a cat? Because it rhymes with Matt and chat. Um, I'd avoid cat. I'm allergic. Maybe we could, like, rap about, like, us. Yeah. Like, in Beauty and the Geek, or maybe about, like, each other or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like a line each. Yep. Yeah? What's a cool line? Um, well, what do you like? I like shoes, I like fashion and clothes. What do you like? Uh, viruses, bacteria, <laughs> um, chemistry. Do you think you'll be able to learn something kind of like this? I have no musical talent. I'm like the worst at like keeping a beat. I'm just all round bad. A little clap behind the back or something. Jason was a little bit unco, but he'd get there in the end, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I think we should work on something like that. We could probably come up with something cool. Coming up, our teams put their talents to the test. Looks, I need a little bit more practice. And later, <laughs> which two geeks will get the transformation of their lives? Prepare to be absolutely blown away. We arrived at Curzon Hall. Everyone was a little bit nervous and anxious about the beauty pageant challenge. I've never entered a beauty pageant before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. <laughs> well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very special event, the Beauty and the Geek Beauty Pageant. <laughs> Judging tonight's pageant will be the gorgeous former Miss Universe Australia, Ashley Talbot. <laughs> and the stunning current Miss Tourism Australia, Mickey Scadden. Let's kick things off with the swimsuit round. I'm so excited that's going to be the geeks shutting down the runway. I really want to see what they got. Mm. Get ready for Dane. <laughs> it was quite cold where the runway was. Very cold. God, purple is so his colour. He's working it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've seen enough skin for a lifetime. <laughs> but now it's time for round two. The beauties are getting quizzed on topics of debate. I've never entered a beauty pageant before, so I'm kind of nervous. First up, ladies and gentlemen, is the very beautiful Aileen. If they ask me about politics, I will actually freak out because I know absolutely nothing. Good evening, Aileen. Good evening. <laughs> How does beauty help the world? Uh, beauty helps the world because I feel as though that if we feel like we're good in the inside and we look hot, um, we'll feel good on the outside as well and that will reflect on everyone else and everyone will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I pretty much made up a answer. I don't even know if it made sense. <laughs> Hi, Greta. Hi. What would you do to make Australia a better country? Hmm. <laughs> That's a hard one. Um... I was getting very worried just because I thought she might not even say anything. I personally believe that Australia is already a perfect country and we don't need to do anything to improve it. I didn't know if they were clapping louder because they thought that I was, couldn't think of anything and I was stupid, but I'm hoping that it's because they agree with me. Millie, if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Um, I would wish for my own little island. I would wish to be able to fly and um, to turn into a mermaid when I swim in the ocean. Kim, what's better, natural or fake and why? Oh God, Kim, <laughs> please know what you're talking about. In terms of natural or fake, I think that it depends what, it's, what you're talking about. In some instances, such as fur or in plants, I think that fake is better. <laughs> no, only in fur, actually. Hi, Christy. Hello. Is being beautiful a talent? Um... I don't think being beautiful is a talent. I think everyone's beautiful in their own way. Aww. I think Christy answered her question really well, but she said that everyone has beauty on the inside, and I think I'm an example of that. Hi, Chantal. Hi. What are good ways to reduce your carbon footprint? I was a bit worried because I hadn't prepped her on it, so I was hoping she knew what they were talking about. I think a good way to reduce the carbon footprint would be walking to work and school and things like that because it's also a form of exercise as well. So it's good in every sense, I suppose. <laughs> she definitely aced it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now for our third and final round, a couple's talent quest. Please put your hands together for Chad and Millie. Since Millie and I have no over lapping talents, or really any talents, we decided we'd step outside the box a bit. Oh my god, I love this <laughs> Millie decided that she was gonna do all the costuming for it. It's not gonna happen again. I don't think pink unitards are my thing. <laughs> could have been worse. I could have let Millie put us both in matching pigtails. I want to be a ballerina now. This is Chantel and Cody with a little song they've prepared. I think I make a pretty good beauty. Hey, everybody. Let's just say I dazzled the crowd. Beauty and the geek, it's where two worlds collide because we want everyone to see that the beauty's inside. Dressed as the girl and she's dressed as the geek And we haven't won a challenge cos we're pretty weak yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. pretty bad Yeah, pretty yeah. bad, but it's OK My name's Greta and I've got class I got no chest but I got class Tonight for our first trick Kim will be taking the shoelace and also this solid ring and magically threading them together. Looks, I need a little bit more practice. One thing. Next couple is going to come out here and bust some rhymes. This is Dean and Aileen. CJ, spin that track. This is a story about a girl, Cinderella, whose name is Aileen. And Dane, who's a fella? Aileen likes shoes and all things fashion. Dane likes macrobiology with a passion. Aileen wakes up, feel her fresh as a daisy. Strutting her stuff, she drives the guys crazy. Dane likes fun guy, cos he's a fun guy. He can recite fire, let's do him try. 
I think the audience knew what pi was, they just had never heard someone state that many digits before. That was hilarious. Alien and I, in my opinion, smashed the performance out of the park. Coming up. This was a standout performance, and it goes to. And still to come, Dane gets daring in his quest for Millie's heart. What I really wanted to talk to you about was if you like me in any sort of way. Well, beauties and geeks, a very memorable pageant indeed. You should be very proud of yourselves. Well done. Now, as you know, the two teams with the highest scores will win immunity and sail through to next week. I'm really hoping that we can win this challenge because we put a lot of work into our song and I think we did uh, really well overall. Miffy. This was a very tough decision, but this was a standout performance and it goes to... Cody and Chantel. It. Like, we'd put in so much hard work, but I couldn't believe we'd actually won our first challenge. Our next couple's safe. Ashley. It was very close, but in second place... It's Aileen and Dane. <laughs> We feel great coming second to Cody and Chantel because they are one of our best friends in the house. Dane and Aileen, Cody and Chantel, you guys have scored yourselves immunity and are through to next week. But that's not all. <laughs> For coming first and second in today's beauty pageant, both Cody and Dane will be rewarded with a makeover! <laughs> Cody and Dane, you're about to get a new look to go with your newfound confidence. <laughs> Cody, by the looks of it, you're going to need it. <laughs> Say goodbye, sweater vest. It's makeover time. <laughs> Dane, wake up! It's makeover day. So it's makeover day. Wake up! And Aileen decided that she'd come and chuck a cushion into my head to wake me up. Hey, you excited? Uh, ow. Ooh. <laughs> um, bit nervous. Do you reckon they're gonna wax your eyebrows? I hope not. <laughs> now, I don't feel as if I have a monobrow. I'm so like keen to see what you look like under all that hair. And they're gonna give you a fake tan probably. You're gonna be so dark. <gasps> Um, not excited about a fake tan. <laughs> I might like, come out as an Oompa Loompa or something. I might say, wait, well, Dane Willie wants you back in the factory. You gotta fish out Augustus Glump out of the Chocolate River or something. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Whoa, I hit my head again. As always. Bye. Bye. See you soon. How are you feeling? Um, nervous. Cody does look a little bit like Napoleon Dynamite. He's got the shirts with the sweater vests. I think he could definitely do with a makeover. <laughs> After you get your makeover, I think it'll just make your confidence really come out. It's nothing to worry about, Cody. I really have no idea how I'll look after the makeover, but this webmaster's in need of an upgrade. I'm ready for Cody version 2.0. Today's your big day. How are you feeling? Slightly nervous about the whole thing. Before I have my makeover, I wanted to have a quick chat with Millie. Do you reckon you're going to look really different? Yeah, I've, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I just wanted to see if Millie likes me for my personality or if she likes me relatively at all. What I really wanted to talk to you about was if you liked me in any sort of way. Like, you don't have to say, like, you do. I just want to know if, like, you get what I mean? Yeah. Well, I do have a soft spot for you, Dane. Oh, OK. <laughs> yes. Who knows, after the makeover, could be more pronounced as well. But don't just think that I don't like you for who you are now. 
Because I do. I think you're a lovely guy. Oh, thanks. You're not too bad yourself. I'll always be <laughs> myself on the inside. It's just, I guess I'll be different on the outside. You'll be beauty now on the outside. You'll be one of us. Beauty on the outside and geeky on the inside. You never take the geek out of my heart, I don't think so. <laughs> Still to come, Woo! Millie pops the question to Dane. Have you ever thought about kissing me before? Oh, God. And later, an elimination twist sends everyone packing. No one is safe. Cody. Hello. Henry Roth. Hi. Today, styling guru and fashion icon Henry Roth is going to be making Cody and I over. Take the journey with I'm not really sure how a makeover is going to turn out because, I mean, I've never managed to make myself over very well, so I'll be interested to see if anyone else can do it. Is this your normal look? The vest and the shirt and the... Yeah. The sweater vest is fashionable. It keeps you warm. It's got patterns on it. Look, it's... Look, that's fashion, isn't it? Patterns. No longer. I'm thinking for you a downtown New York City look that is going to be a killer. So I'm thinking something that's cool, that's quilted, that could be really great, that's going to slenderize, pop a colour, boom. We want it to really snap. And I've got a few other tricks from top to toe, hair, bit of tanning, bit of manscaping. We're going to rock it. You ready? Yep. Let's do it, mate. I'm not particularly excited about waxing. I'm the hairiest geek here. <laughs> the expression beauty is pain is not my favourite expression right now. They pour hot wax on you and then rip it off. And then they go, ha, 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 evilly. You ever heard of bikini wax? No. Because that's what you're getting next. I'm leaving the worst to last. Hi. Hi, Dane. <laughs> Words cannot describe how excited I am right now. The last step that you took into this room will be the last time we see the old day. OK. I would describe my current look as Marty McFly from Back to the Future. I got the puffy jacket. Trust you. Yes. I got the polo shirt. I just need a hoverboard right now. I think I need a lot of help. <laughs> you do? Yeah. OK. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Cool. Hi, Dane. Hi. I'm Renee. I'm going to be Hi. doing your spray tan today. But before we get started, I need you to get all your gear off and pop this on. What is that? This is your G-string, so this is all you're going to be wearing. So you want to pop that on? <laughs> My instant thought when I first saw this little G-string type thing was crap. Are you serious? You ready? No. <laughs> I would describe my skin tone as quite pasty. I don't let my body see the light of day, and there's good reason for that. And that's it. I feel very brown. <laughs> I really reckon the boys are going to um, have a lot more confidence now after their makeovers. OK, mate, so today we're going to transform you. But what we're going to do, we're going to keep it all covered up. You're not going to see your transformation right to the end when we reveal the total finish. OK. Do you think anything will change with Dane after his makeover? I don't know, maybe. I think with his beard and his funny goggly glasses, um, <laughs> he's looking almost at his worst. Whereas um, when he's got his makeover, he'll probably look, you know, his best. OK, mate, this is looking sharp. Now that bird, what's her name, Millie? Yeah. Look out, Millie. Here comes Dane. <laughs> Beauties and geeks, prepare to be absolutely blown away. I'm so anxious and excited to see them. I'm just worried that they're going to look so good that I can't stand next to them because I'll just look that bad in comparison. Now, when I say these guys won't know themselves, I mean it. During their amazing day of transformation here at the mansion, all of the mirrors were covered up, so they haven't seen themselves. <gasps> So you guys get to see their amazing transformation before they do. I was super nervous to see what Dane would look like after his makeover because I thought, hey, maybe now he's got his new look, he might not want me anymore. <laughs> Day one in the mansion, I felt like I was trapped in a shell. 
My confidence was quite low, uh, so this makeover means so much to me. I've always wanted to try and express how I felt on the inside, on the outside, but I've never really had the courage to do so. This geek is used to being in the lab with a Bunsen burner. <laughs> but the only fire hazard tonight will be his smoking hot new look. <laughs> Introducing the new and improved Dane. Here he comes. Introducing the new and improved Dane. Here he comes. Dane walks out, and I think the eyes of the view just popped out. All of a sudden, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot even believe that is Dane. Oh my god! I couldn't recognise him at all. I happen to see him really doing a little bit of the whole. I think she liked what she saw. Dane, you look incredible, I'm lost for words. You look amazing. I didn't think it was Dane until I heard his little geeky voice. <laughs> then I'm like, yeah, that's still Dane. <laughs> I want to see what I look like now. <laughs> say goodbye to the old pursuit, you, and say hello to the new look. Dane. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I could not recognise myself at first. Is that me? And then I sort of slowly started to look a bit harder and for the first time in my life, I felt so happy. I like what I see. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. In a way, I was sort of proud of myself. I've come out of my shell a bit. Same. I now can talk to girls, hold a conversation. I still might talk about bacteria or viruses, but I'm getting there. One down, one to go. Chantel, your geek is next. Yep. How are you feeling? I'm really nervous for him, but I'm excited. I'm hoping he's going to be a lot more confident because he's come such a long way since the start of the show and I think getting a makeover will just add to that as well. When I came into the mansion, my confidence was really low. I was nervous and shy and awkward. I think the way I look and dress has probably held me back in the past just because I wouldn't feel confident going to social places where you meet people. Hopefully the makeover will help me feel better about who I am as a person and give me more confidence in myself. He makes his living on the internet, but he's deleted his old looks <laughs> and found a style that really clicks. Everyone, let me introduce you to Cody, the yes. coolest kid on Come the on block. Cody. I can't believe the same person with Cody. Like, where's his sweater vest gone? Now he's got, like, layers of clothing that aren't woolen. No more sweater vest, Cody. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I bet them. <laughs> Chantelle, if this guy walked up to you in a bar and asked for your number, would you give it to him? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> he looks amazing. He looks like a completely different person. I can just see his confidence has gone up already so much. Oh. <laughs> Me and Cody have become really close over the last couple of weeks. I do see him like a bit of a brother, but he's definitely like a cute brother now. Well, Cody, it's time for you to say goodbye to the old you and say hello to the very cool Cody. Wow. <laughs> Webmaster! Right now, I feel like a rock star. I feel like I could walk through the streets of New York and not get beaten up. Yo. What's up? I'm Cody. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. New York City. Yeah. <laughs> well, beauties and geeks, we're not quite done with the surprises just yet. I have one more to reveal. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> Dane and Cody, there's no doubt you guys are looking a million bucks. So I think it's only fitting that you take your new looks out on a test drive. What? On a date. <laughs> <laughs> and who will you be taking out on a date? It's entirely up to you. You can choose any beauty in the mansion. There was only one on my mind. No hesitation whatsoever. So, Dane, out of all the beauties here, who would you like to take out on a date this evening? There's no question about it. I would like to take Millie out on a date. I'm so excited for them. Hopefully, they'll get a smooch together. That'll be so cute. <laughs> Why Millie? <laughs> Uh, we've sort of grown a bit close over the past few weeks, and it's obvious that I like her, Aww. so... Aww. Millie's definitely seeing Dane in a new light. I think they're really cute together. And Cody, who would you like to take out on a date tonight? Well, Bernard, I, the, I like all of the beauties here. They're all really great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be going with that, no. Uh, <laughs> I think my favourite beauty would have to be my own beauty, Chantel. Aww. Cody hasn't been on a date before. So I feel a little bit privileged to be on his first date with him. On a scale of one to ten, I was, I was about a ten on how much I was looking forward to this date. I was pumped. Okay. I was very excited as to where I was taking Millie. Going too fast, so yeah. Okay, sorry. It's a place that I hold dearly in my heart. Okay, you ready? Yep. So. Oh my god, Dane, it's Lord Balls. <laughs> Who we got you? I have actually wanted to take a girl to Lawn Balls before, although not many girls are too keen on the idea. <laughs> and then again, I haven't really approached many girls about it. Now remember, bend your knees and step forward with your left. I was a bit nervous, bit of an unusual day. I've never really been bowling before. That's your right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my left or right, Dane. <laughs> Dane tried to teach me, but I wasn't very good at it at all. <laughs> so we're at Madame Two Swords. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's full of wax figures. I know Chantelle is really into makeup and prosthetics and stuff like that, so I thought she would be interested in Madame Tussauds wax figures. <laughs> Do you know how oh, wow. these people are? Uh, is that the Buddha? <laughs> no. Chantelle's knowledge of important figures in history isn't too flash. This is Gandhi. Really? I've never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's this guy? Morgan Freeman? <laughs> <laughs> I love Morgan Freeman in that movie, Bruce Almighty, so I was really happy when I saw him in the room. I was like, yeah, I actually know him. I know someone for once. I'm pretty sure it's Morgan Freeman. Do you see any other actors in this room? They seem to all be politicians. I suppose. There's Nelson Mandela. Ah. Right now, I feel sort of on top of the world type sort of situation right now. Aww. Like, yes. <laughs> you should, Dane. You look awesome. Look at all your clothes. So expensive. I think $100 was the maximum I've ever spent on an item of clothing. Really? That was my lawn bowl shoes. <laughs> so. Millie's reaction was just laughter. It wasn't a joke, though. That, that was genuine. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one to strike a good conversation. Um, I think Dane was really nervous, but I felt so special. I just felt like the most beautiful girl in the whole world. I was thinking, have you ever thought about kissing me before? Oh, God. Um, I think she wants me to kiss her. <laughs> I was thinking, have you ever thought about kissing me before? Oh, God. Um, Maybe. Really? When? Um, maybe the other day. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you come and kiss me? Um, nervous. Don't look so scared. I did not think I was going to get a kiss at all, especially if I had to initiate it.
Wow, Dane, you're amazing. I'm fucking up. <laughs> you have glass in the fucking <laughs> Hey, Lin Lin. Hi, Millie Moo. You're in trouble. You were late last night. After my date with Dane last night, I had a bit of a girly gossip with Aileen. It was so beautiful and like, I've never been on a date like it. I had no idea where we're going. Turns out, I got blindfolded, turns out we're going to bowls. <laughs> oh my God. And then he ended up kissing me. Yes. And he was such a good kisser. Ooh, really? I was not, I, mean, I was not expecting him to be like, that good we kiss her. So where do you see this going? Do you think it's going to be something big? I definitely think my feelings are going for Dane, yes. Oh, Millie. Thank you. So nominations are coming up. Have you thought about who you'd want to vote for or? Um, well, I guess, you know, you don't want to vote for anyone, but we should probably go for people who need to be here the least. Yeah, I suppose. Me and Cody did win the beauty pageant challenge and now it is our turn to nominate someone. Maybe we should think about Mike Rich or you ran. Yeah, I like them both, but I like everyone here. Do you have anyone in mind? Um, oh. Dana and myself have to send someone to the elimination room. It gets harder and harder every time and this time we are definitely struggling the most. You have Uran and Greta, I guess. Greta's sort of been neglecting Uran lately. Yeah, I've noticed that too. But then again, Uran's been trying his heart out. <laughs> well, I'm thinking Christy and Jason, purely because I feel they could possibly put us up if they were in our position. It's a tough choice, but we have to choose someone. Ah, bugger. <laughs> Walking into nominations, I'm feeling nervous. We've never had to nominate anyone before, so kind of dreading having to put someone up. Hello, everyone. Hi, hey, hey. Well, by now, we've all shared some amazing experiences in the mansion. And you've also made some great friends. But ultimately, this is a competition. Nomination has never been harder. But this is a duty that's a very important part of this game puts you in the driver's seat. It also puts you one step closer to the $100,000 cash prize and a Holden Barina each. Dane and Aileen, Cody and Chantel, what happens from here on in is completely up to you. You have a choice. You can nominate another team or not. That's right. Whether a team goes home this evening or not is entirely up to the four of you. If neither of you nominate a couple, everyone is safe and through to next week. However, if one of you nominate a couple, that nominated couple will be automatically eliminated. Oh, massive bombshell. It basically means that there's a chance someone could be straight out without any chance of defending themselves. So I think that really got everyone a bit worried. Dane and Aileen, Cody and Chantel, this is the biggest decision that you will make here at the mansion. To the rest of you, since you all face the possibility of automatic elimination this evening, I suggest you go and pack your bags and say your goodbyes because no one is safe. Oh my goodness, this is massive. The power is in our hands. I feel like I've been blown out of water. Mm. I have absolutely no idea what to think. Or Aileen and I keep going around in circles. We basically have the power to kick someone out if we want to, or not to kick anyone out. I think that's just too much power for us to have. Everyone deserves to be here. I mean, the geeks, they really need to break out of their shells and even the beauties need to learn some things, so yep. maybe we should put no one up. But at the end of the day, it is a competition and when push comes to shove, we need to be smart about our choices and about our power and how we use it. Yeah. 
I suppose if we did vote for someone, it means that we're getting one step closer. In your eyes, who has the potential to win? Rich and Kim uh, are a strong team. If we get one person that's keen to put us up and the other team that isn't, well, isn't, then we're effectively straight gone. out, aren't we? You'd be silly to not nominate someone because that's one more person that can come back next week and win the challenge and nominate you. If I was in their shoes, I'd probably let everyone stay. It depends whether they're playing the game or whether they're actually thinking about who needs to be here. I'm really scared. I mean, a lot of the teams might see Jason and I as a bit of a threat in this competition. We have been up twice now, so... Yeah, that third time was looming, I think. Yeah. Could be me and Jason up again. I'm feeling quite anxious. I'm really concerned that this could be a, you know, one hit knockout without a chance to defend myself. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. There may be an elimination this evening. Or there may not. What happens next hinges on the decisions of the challenge winning couples. As you know, they have a choice. It's now decision time. Cody and Chantel, I'll start with you. Do you wish to nominate another team? And if so, why? Um, this has been a really tough decision for both Cody and I. We've had a lot of time to talk about it. Over the last few weeks, everyone in the mansion has become really close and we don't want to take the experience away from anyone. And for that reason, and we're not nominating a couple tonight. Dane and Aileen, that means that it comes down to you. If you choose to nominate a team tonight, they will be automatically eliminated from the competition and must leave the mansion immediately. So, Dane and Aileen, I need your decision. Um, so, this was a very tough decision to make. After thinking long and hard about this whole thing, uh, we have decided that... we will not be nominating a couple this evening. Thank God. I just wanted to say that since makeovers, Dane's been so happy, his smile has been contagious. Um, this experience is not something that I would want to strip from any of you geeks or beauties. Jason and Christy, you look slightly relieved. Yes, very relieved. Are you grateful to the two couples standing here? Yes, we love you guys, so we're very, very happy. Thank you. It's like a new life. <laughs> <laughs> well, beauties and geeks, it's your lucky night. You're all safely through to next week, thanks to these guys. I'm feeling great and fabulous. I'm happy about our choice. We did the right thing. We all deserve to be here as much as each other. Thank <laughs> you.